Hello everyone, welcome to Analytics with Asmi. When preparing data for analysis, treating null or blanks for proper transformation, normalization or data structuring ensure clean data set for further process and data analysis. Otherwise, it might give you unexpected results or inaccurate analysis and visualization. And handling the blank and nulls values ensure smoother functioning of functions and formula as well. So while doing data transformation in Power Query, it's essential to identify whether the field contains null or blanks or both. So in this vi today's video, we are going to discuss different scenarios where you how you can handle the blanks and null values in Power Query editor. But before moving ahead, let us understand the difference between null values and the blank values. Most of the time, people get confused between these two values. Okay, so here in the Power Query editor, I have imported this three tables okay so in demo 2 here you can see in the product column in the quantity column you can see the null values okay and in category id you can see the blank values so the null values represent an absence of a value or no value in a data when there is no value then you will get this null okay in a cell while Blank usually refers to an empty string. Here you can see it is empty. Okay. You don't know what is there in it. It is not visible character in a field or a cell. It could be just a space or any other value which Power BI is not recognizing. It might be an empty string or just a white space or no visible value. So this is the difference between null and a blank. You may get clear understanding by, by using this Excel. Now, here in Excel, we are using the same data set here. Okay. Here you can see in the quantity, there are no values in some cells. So, these are the null values. Okay. Now, here in the category, here you can see in the row number 3, there is a blank. Then, row number 8, there is a blank. And row number 11 is a blank. Now, if we take the length of this category ID, here you can see the length of this category 1 is 5 okay now here it is blank and but he sh it's showing that length is 2 means some white space is there two white space is there that's why it is showing as a blank now here again in category 1 2 3 4 the length of the character is 5 only but here in the row 8 it is a blank but it's showing length as a 2 means two white space is there okay so it is a blank so some white space or some non-visible characters are present then we call it as a blank and when there is a no value then we call it as a null hope you understood the difference between them now now i am going to share with you five different ways to handle the blank and null values in a power query editor so when you import a data in a power query editor the first step what you have to do you have to check the data types sometimes you get a blank values due to incompatible data types so please make sure first the data type for each column is appropriate or not so now here the data type of all the columns are proper now second step is to check in the data set whether the null values or blank values present or not now in this demo one data set here we can see we have a four column id name age and city and in all the four columns we can see the null values so first method is to filter your null values okay you have to filter your rows where the specific columns having a null or a blank values now to filter the null values or blank values there are few methods first method is here you can click this drop down and here you can uncheck this and click ok then you will remove the null values here so this is the first first method but here you have to do for individual columns here there are only four columns but in the data set you might get more than four columns you might get 20 30 columns so this is not a feasible way so second method is that here in the home here in the remove rows click this drop down here you will get the option like remove blank rows it will remove the blank and null values so if you click this now here you can see all the null values are gone okay so this is the second method but the condition for using this remove blank rows is that now if I uh, clear this here you can see 
this row are having all nulls. So, this row 2 you can see all nulls are present. In the row 8 and 9 all nulls are present. So, when there is a null is present in all the rows then, then only you can use this remove rows function. Okay, remove rows and in that you can use this remove blank. Right. So, uh, next method is to filter out the nulls is that here you have to select all the column here then go to the add a column here and then you have to use this merge column here it will create a new column called as a merge column click ok here you can see all the four columns are merged here now here you click this drop down and here you will get the option remove empty what it will do it will remove the blank and null values so just click this now here you can see all the null values are gone now we don't want this column so we can remove this so right click here and remove the column now all the null values are gone so this was the first method where you can deal with the null and blank values you can remove it you can filter it out from your data set okay now let's see what is the second method second method is to replace the null and blank values we will use the replace function to replace the null and blank values with the other values whether it is a numeric or it is a string okay let's see for explaining the second method we are going to use this demo to data set here again you can see there are four columns category id product quantity and sales so here in the quantity there are numeric values and in the product there are the text function here there is a string okay now if you want to replace the null values with the other values what you can do here here you have a replace function so for that you have to click here on the right on a column and here you will get the option as replace values click that here you have to value to find so here we are we will write here null and you have to replace it with here we are going to write the number because in that column there are all numbers so here we are writing 0 and click ok now here you can see in the quantity column we are getting 0 instead of null ok the same way we can do for the string but for the string you can't write a 0 you can't replace it with 0 you have to replace it with particular string ok so here again I will click this column right click and here go to the replace values and here again you have to write the null and you have to replace it with some some you have to uh, write the default value so suppose here I am writing the error as a default value ok and click ok now here you can see we are getting error wherever there was null ok so this was the second method where you can replace the null and blank values with the other values. Now let's see the third method. The third method to handle a blank and null values is to use a fill up and fill down function which is present in this transform tab. Here if you click on the transform tab here you will get the fill option and here if you click down uh, click, click this drop down you will get up and down function. If you click this down, what it will do? It will copy this text to the down cell. Okay. And if you use this up, then what it will do? It will copy whatever text is present here. It will uh, copy this up in the cell. Okay. So, first what we will do here? We will use the down function. You can find this fill function here. When you click the right, here also you can find the fill function down and up so you can use either you can use the transform tab or you can click a right same way you can do for the replace value as well replace value you can get in the transform tab as well and here if you click the right you will get the replace values okay now here uh, we are clicking right and we will do fill down if we click this now here you can see the cell is been copied now there are no null values and it is been copied by the text which is present in a column okay so up till now we have seen the 
थ्री मेथड्स टू हैंडल द नल एंड ब्लैंक वैल्यूज फर्स्ट फर्स्ट मेथड वॉज वी रिमूव वी फिल्टर आउट द नल एंड ब्लैंक वैल्यूज सेकेंड मेथड वॉट वी हैव डन वी रिप्लेस द वैल्यूज विद द न्यूमेरिक वैल्यू एंड द टेक्स वैल्यू थर्ड थर्ड मेथड इज वी यूज द फिल अप एंड फिल डाउन फंक्शन विच इज प्रेजेंट इन द ट्रांसफॉर्म टैप नो फोर्थ मेथड इज टू हैंडल द ब्लैंक एंड नल वैल्यूज इज यूजिंग अ कंडीशनल कॉलम्स ओके ना अपटिल नाउ वी हैव सीन हाउ वी हैव वी कैन हैंडल द नल वैल्यूज नाउ वी हैव टू हैंडल दीज ब्लैंक वैल्यूज ओके नाउ हियर इफ यू यूज दियर द कंडीशनल क्लॉज सो इफ यू गो हियर इन द एड कॉलम एंड गो टू द कंडीशनल कॉलम हियर इफ द कॉलम कैटेगरी हैडी इक्वल्स टू नल देन गिव मी वन अदरवाइज जीरो ओके एंड विल प्रेस ओके सो हियर यू कैन सी दो देयर आर दी नल ब्लैंक वैल्यूज वी आर गेटिंग द जीरो मीन्स दैट हियर पावर बी आई इज नॉट रिकग्नाइजिंग दिस ब्लैंक वैल्यूज राइट सो वी हैव सीन दैट इन ब्लैंक वैल्यूज देर देर शुड बी सम वाइट स्पेस सो वॉट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू रिमूव दिस वाइट स्पेस फर्स्ट ओके सो फॉर रिमूविंग वॉट वी कैन डू हियर यू जस्ट क्लिक ऑन दिस कैटेगरी आई डी कॉलम एंड हियर इन द ट्रांसफॉर्म यू विल गेट द ऑप्शन एज अ ट्रिम ओके यू जस्ट क्लिक दिस ट्रिम इट विल रिमूव द वाइट स्पेसेस ओके एंड इफ इट इज इफ सम कैरेक्टर्स आर प्रेजेंट यू हैव टू यूज द क्लीन फंक्शन सो हियर ओनली द वाइट स्पेसेस आर देयर सो वी आर गोइंग टू यूज दिस ट्रिम फंक्शन जस्ट क्लिक दिस नाउ द स्पेस आर रिमूव नाउ वॉट वी विल डू हियर वी विल रिप्लेस इट विथ अ नल वैल्यूज सो अगेन विल डू द राइट क्लिक हियर गो टू द रिप्लेस वैल्यूज हियर for the blank you have to use the null okay now here you can see instead of blank we are getting the null values now here in the conditional clause if we take this conditional column here at the last step now here you can here you can see i am taking this it's not coming yeah now here i have added the this column this step to the last now if you click this here okay click okay now here you can see you are getting one one wherever there is a null is present okay so it's working perfectly here after trimming the rows you can directly use the replace function as well so here i am re removing this okay and instead of this i am removing this as well i am rem removing this so we have trim the function okay we re we went to the that step trim text then here do right click and do replace values and here directly you can replace it with your default value suppose i am writing the error here and i click okay here you can see we are getting the error okay as a replace value so but for the blank value you can't replace directly because the power bi don't consider don't recognize it as a blank value so you have to trim it first then you have to replace it okay hope you understood it now so up till now we have seen the four method first is to filter out the null values and blank values second we have replaced the null values and blank values with the other values third method was fill up and fill down method fourth method where we have used the conditional column to check whether the null values and blank values are recognized by the power bi or not it is not it was not recognizing so that we have used the trim function then we have replaced it with the other value now the last method is to use the custom column here we are going to use the different scenario here we are using this demo 3 data set here you can see there are three columns name age and city for example if you want to do some conditional check to the particular column and in that column if the null values are there then how you can handle it okay we will see 
in this scenario. So, uh, suppose this is the age column and you can see there are the null values and some values are there. Okay, we will put a condi conditional check to this column now. Okay, sometime you, may, you might get a scenario like this to put a conditional check. So, for that what we can do here, we will go to add a column, go to the custom column. And here we will write the name of a column as a new. And here we will put the conditional check if our column age is greater than 30, then consider as a eligible. Else not eligible. So this is our condition. Okay. So if the column, what are the values present in that column is greater than 30, then we can consider it as eligible, otherwise not eligible. Okay. So this is our conditional check for that column. And now uh, we are clicking OK here. Now here you can see we can find it the error here. Because the null values never return true or false. That's why it is failing here. Okay. So, here one thing you can do. You can replace this error with the value. This is a one method. But we will do the second method. So, for that what we can do here. We will go here again. Okay. And here. No. We can. We have to remove this step. Again we will go to the custom column. And here we will write if this age column is equal to null, then we have to write not eligible, not eligible else if our each column will write here the condition again greater than 30 then eligible else not eligible so here what we have done we have written the two conditions because Null values never written true or false. So, again we put a condition here for the age column. If the age is equal to null, then not eligible. Else, if our condition, if age is greater than 30, then eligible. Else, not eligible. Now, we will click OK here. Now, here you can see for the null values, we are getting not eligible. Okay. And for the age which is greater than 30, we are getting the eligible. So, this is how you can handle the null values when you are doing the conditional check for a particular column in some scenario you might get you might encounter such null values sometimes you have to put the conditional uh, check for a particular column while doing a data analysis and if the null values are present then you have to handle like this hope you understood how to do this so we have seen the five different methods for handling the null values and the blank values Hope you understood how to do that. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching.